What's up guys, Joe the Techie here. Today I'm going to be bringing you my review of the Amazon Kindle 4. Uh, this is the obviously the fourth generation of the Kindle and has an introductory price of 79 US dollars ad supported or 109 dollars uh, for no ads at all. So I'm just going to give you a tour around the device and uh, give you my thoughts on the device. So, uh, we can start over on the left hand side of the device. Now on each side both here and here, uh, we have two buttons. Uh, this is to scroll up the page and to scroll down the page, and it is the same on the right-hand side of the device. Uh, we have a USB cord in the bottom for charging. Uh, we have our power button, and we have five buttons on the front of the device. Uh, this is to go back to bring up our keyboard, uh, navigational buttons, uh, go back to our list and our home button. So uh, you'll notice that there is an image on the screen right now and this is one of the massive advantages of the Kindle's e-ink system. Uh, basically because uh, of the the way e-ink is it's able to kind of put an image onto the screen without using any power whatsoever. So this is what the Kindle is like in standby mode. And every time you power on and power off the device this image changes which is quite nice. So uh, we're going to power on the device and uh, take a look at it. So uh, you'll notice that when I turn it on, it's going to flash a number of times and that's to refresh the ink on the screen to make the ink usable again. So you can see that it flashed a number of times. And uh, now we are on the home screen, and this home screen gives you uh, a list of all your books that you have on your device. Uh, and these are obviously downloadable from the Amazon Kindle store. So when going into a book it's as simple as press the home button and you're going to be um, taken in. Now this is the welcome pack um, that comes pre-installed on the Kindle which kind of just goes over some of the stuff and uh, you'll notice that while scrolling up and down uh, using the buttons on the left and right You'll see it flashes um, and then changes the page. Now this flashing isn't a big deal. Um, it's not going to distract you um, enough that it's going to put you off reading. Uh, but then again we can hit that button to scroll down again. We hit the back button here to go back and you see it flashes again. Uh, we have the keyboard button. And uh, this is kind of one of the things that I don't like about the Amazon Kindle. Firstly, um, because the keyboard... The keyboard is in an ABC format, uh, which many of us aren't used to typing on. We're used to the QWERTY keyboard layout. Uh, and it is very time consuming to find the letter you want, go along uh, to the letter you want, and uh, type it in. So if I was just to write my name, it does take a while. Uh, but. Um, it's not a massive deal, but it may be a put off for some people. Um, I do prefer the the Amazon Kindle with the keyboard attached to it, um, just because you have a more kind of quick and seamless typing experience. So uh, to delete text, we uh, just use that, and we can hit the keyboard button to then bring it out, and then the flash again, and we are back to our home screen. So again we have our navigational buttons here, uh, we have the home button which takes us to our home screen and which is this screen here and we have this button here I said which is our list and uh, this gives us a number of options. We have the option to turn wireless on and off, we can shop in the Kindle store, we can view archived items, we can search, um, we can create new collections so you can kind of um, put your books into folders um, to make um, organization a bit better. Uh, we can sync and check for new items. We've got our settings and we've got screen rotation. So you can either have it in landscape mode or you can have it in portrait mode. Again, it's as easy as scroll down to the one you want. We can hit screen rotation. And we have four different modes for screen rotation. Two portrait modes and two landscape modes. So uh, we can set it for this um, orientation. Uh, this orientation here is when your Kindle is going to be like this with the buttons on the left. Uh, this mode here, you're going to want to have your Kindle like this. So if I do that and hit um, 
okay. You see it's changed and uh, the Kindle rotation is the right way up but with our buttons at the top. We're just going to um, go back to our menu and change that back. And then we also have uh, the screen rotation for the Kindle being like this. So uh, some very nice uh, options there. So uh, that's as far as the, um, the menu goes. And I really do think that the Kindle is a nice device. I, I do like the e-ink system, I must say. Um, the... The huge, huge perk of the e-ink system, uh, even though it isn't backlit, uh, which can be a problem for reading in the dark, it isn't going to give you anything like headaches because there isn't any glare whatsoever. It's a completely natural feel to the screen, so there isn't um, the light coming off to go into your eyes. So it's an extremely, extremely natural way to read. And because the Kindle is extremely light, um, Reading with this thing isn't going to be an issue at all. Uh, you can sit there for hours holding this. It's not going to be an issue whatsoever. Um, so, all in all, I do think the Kindle is a great device. Um, and for the price point, you really can't go wrong with it. Uh, obviously, the Kindle with the keyboard is going to be more expensive. Um, but if you're on budget and you want um, something to put your books on and to read from without the hassle, or without the bulk of having a physical book, then the Kindle 4 is definitely going to be the device for you. So thanks for watching my review of the Amazon Kindle. Um, this isn't my Kindle, I've been given it to review by uh, a friend. So. Um, as I said, a great, nice little device, um, and I don't think you can really go wrong with it at all. So, there, there's another one of the pictures I was talking about. Um, it really is quite um, cool, and I do kind of like the technology behind the ink display. So, thanks for watching this review, and I will see you all in the next video.